Although this event is conducted as a private rally with no official timing, or prizes for reaching checkpoints first during the rally, some participants have been fined for speeding and other traffic offences by the police in countries they pass through. It's my second year and it's attracted much bigger crowds, there's more cars, there's still some familiar faces which is always really nice, but I'm looking forward to it, yeah. Cars have been confiscated and the odd rally cancelled after a team was involved in a fatal collision with a non-participating vehicle. Although the organisers are careful to emphasise that it's a rally and not a race, it's sometimes referred to as a race on public roads. Gumball 3000 was founded in 1999 by Maximilian Cooper. Now, I loved racing cars and I thought if I can create an event which combines all of them, that was really what I set out to achieve. And, and so, you know, to get the most eclectic bunch of people together, you know, skateboarders, to musicians, to bankers, to whatever, and, and uh, just get them to put them all together and create that sort of cocktail, really. From humble origins back in 1999, the Gumball Rally has been running now for several years. Initially, Cooper invited 50 of his wealthiest friends to take part in a six-day, 3,000-mile drive around Europe, partying every night. It's really kind of quite interesting and inspiring for me each time how different industries are taking to it. And at first, the car world hated it. And now I've got like the big car companies phoning me up and saying, how can we get involved in it? It was one man's dream of reliving the heydays of the Cannonball Run movies that has created an industry in its own right. Drawing inspiration from the 1970s race, as well as the movies Smokey and the Bandit and Vanishing Point, Maximilian Cooper revived the spirit of the old races in the summer of 1999 by combining the driving elements with nightly parties and layovers at luxury hotels. With celebrities and exotic car owners paying out in excess of 40,000 US for the privilege of experiencing this international party on wheels, Cooper sees the event becoming even bigger. I think it'd be really quite interesting because now, because America's sort of taken to it, that we get all these guys, we've got 50 Cent doing next year's rally and people like that, so it'd be quite interesting. When the Gumball 3000 crew arrived at Albania's Mother Teresa Square in the course of the annual event, car lovers in one of Europe's poorest countries clambered to get a glimpse of the most expensive cars some of them had ever seen, with some of the female spectators breaking the heavy security cordon to pose with drivers. A long drive uh, coming from uh, Athens, but uh, we did it. And, and it took a little longer because of the roads, but we got here and I'm excited to be in Albania for the first time. When the Gumball 3000 crew arrived in Beijing, rally founder Maximilian Cooper was in the first of the high-performance cars to pull into the Beijing Hotel forecourt. Ahead of a motley crew of skateboarders, dot-com moguls, fashion designers and other wealthy car enthusiasts who rolled into their final destination aboard Porsches and Rolls Royces. It's kind of a bit of a blur, I think, for everyone right now, but once they kind of sit down and take it in, I think you can definitely say they've had one week they're never going to forget. This porsche fouled combi van not only survived the distance, but also became the ideal platform for some of the cast of Jackass to announce that they'd arrived and were a little thirsty. I'm going to be drinking a few of these and going to watch some Olympic finals. As the orange juice flowed, no doubt the jackasses were glad that they spent up big time to party across the globe with the Gumball 3000, a club that is strictly for fun-loving, big-spending motor enthusiasts. I do like a little bit of speed, but that's, I guess, why we're all doing it, right? <laughs>